In this last video in the Drawing with Pygame unit, we're going to take a look at how to detect mouse events. So we're going to go back to our logo class. We're going to use the same class. And we're going to add another method that's going to be print mouse coordinates. It's actually going to print the mouse coordinates to the screen. It's going to take, obviously, the self parameter and then uh, position, which will be the position of the mouse. So what we're going to do is we're going to create another font object um, like we did up here for the draw logo and we'll call it mouse font equals pygame.font.sys font. We'll use the same Helvetica and we'll make it much smaller this time. We'll make it 32. We'll see how that looks. And then we'll do a mouse label equals my f um, mouse font dot render and then we're going to actually print the position that we're going to get passed to it uh, we'll make it anti-alias or alias one and just to save ourselves time we'll put the tuple of color right in here I'll make it 255 255 so kind of a mixture of blue and green and then the final thing we'll do is we're going to blit that onto the main surface We'll call it mouse label, and we will put it at a position of 3030, which should be the upper left corner of the screen. So now we have that in our, in our class. Let's go ahead and detect that mouse event in our main draw logo program. So again, we talked about that the, the pygame.event.get gets a list of all the events. And we said if the event type was quit, it would shut the window and shut pygame down. We can also check to see if event dot type equals mouse button down. You can see there's lots of different events that a Pygame can detect. But right now we're going to see if, if we detect a mouse button down, which is a mouse click. And if it does, we are going to call the print mouse coordinates method on our MyLogo object. And you can see that's telling us it needs a position. So we need to know where the mouse was clicked. Luckily, there's a pygame method that will give us exactly that. So we're going to use pygame.mouse.get position. So get POS with the parentheses is going to get the mouse coordinates, the X and Y, and send them to our print mouse coordinates function. All right, so we should have everything ready to go. So let's go ahead and run that and see what it looks like. There's our logo, and if I click, it should show me the mouse coordinates. Ah, and it does not. So let's go ahead and look at what's wrong. One of the things I have a, a underscore here, so that needs to be fixed. So let's go ahead and fix that and run it. So now it says the type error, the text, must be a Unicode or, Unicode or bytes, which means that I'm sending it a tuple and it doesn't want that. So right here where it says position, I'm going to convert that to a string. So let's go ahead and make that a string and let's try it again. Well now I've clicked and nothing's happening. And the reason is, notice that when I draw my logo the last command was to update the screen. Well I don't have that here. So I'm going to actually, oops, do pygame.display.update and that should update the screen so now I should get mouse coordinates. Let's go ahead and run that and if I click, aha, I get the x is 452, y is 78. Well, what happens if I keep clicking? Well, it's starting to get kind of ugly. Now it's wherever where I click, it's just overwriting the clicks before and pretty soon it becomes unreadable. So let's go ahead and fix that. And by the way, this, this technique that we're going to use, we're going to kind of do the same, a similar thing when we talk about animation next time. So one thing I can do is I can fill my screen with white, which could it would basically cover up what was there before. So I'm going to do a pi game. Actually, my main surface. Let's do self.mainsurface.fill. 
and let's fill it with white. Now let's try to draw that. There's my logo. When I click, aha, that's great. I got my mouse coordinates. Now if I keep clicking, it puts the new coordinates and it doesn't overwrite, which is kind of nice because every time the screen is filling with white and it's covering up the old coordinates and then allows me to print the new ones on top of that white screen. Well, the only problem is now my logo is gone too. So I'm going to do one last thing to fix that. And that is after I fill in my screen, I'm going to go ahead and draw self dot draw logo. So I'm going to add that logo in there. Now when I run it, I get my logo. Now when I click, it's covering with white and then quickly drawing the logo. And now everything works as it should. So again, just to kind of sum, sum up, we can check to see what event type it is. And when that event type is mouse button down or a click, we can get the coordinates of what that mount of the mouse position is. And we use, just use that to print it to the screen. There's a lot more you can do. And I urge you to kind of go through the Pygame documentation to see what that is. So in the next series of videos, we will start looking at how to animate objects and get them to move around the screen. And so we can start to do some more interesting things.